Okay, I've got the horizontal setup broken down and we're gonna be running directly out of the horizontal spindle now. And what we're gonna be doing is facing the opposite side of this here. And we're gonna be getting the total width of the piece machined in to the proper width, which is gonna be eight and 11 sixteenths. 8.687, all right? So this face here, that's what we're gonna be milling. I've got a three and a half inch shell mill mounted. That is a good sharp shell mill. Should do a good job and we'll uh, get this cut off. What I've done is I've added this angle plate here to help serve as a stop onto this side. We just got a simple C-clamp just to kind of help support it. This is gonna help dampen it and also trying to keep the piece from trying to uh, kick this way. So just like a stop against that side, we'll be feeding from this side over. So we're ready to start making our cut. We've only got about 200 thousandths to take off this, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll make one cut, measure it with some calipers, and probably finish it out. All right, that went nice and easy. It's got a beautiful cut there. No problem, so let's see where we're at. Looks like we're getting around 834, 833. Go calculate my cut and we'll uh, finish this thing out. So I've got another 145 to come off. I really liked how easy that 100 was, so we're, we're going to do another 100 and then I'll finish it out with the uh, 45,000 as, as like a finished cut there.
just verified our length and we are, we still got 45 thousandths. So we'll dial it in and make our finished cut. That was our finished cut. Let's see what we landed on. Six eighty six. So, according to the calipers, one and a half thou under. And uh, keep in mind that was a fractional dimension that was given to me there. So I think we hit our mark. We did good. I'll just have to do some uh, manual deburring on the outside right here to get rid of the sharp edges and. Uh, deburr this the milling parts done from here we're going to break this down and then we're going to set this up over in the do all mill so that we can go ahead and complete our bores here and also the uh, bore the drilled and tapped hole for the clamp section that's on the bottom right there i'm just getting all of the uh, sharp machined edges deburred and i'm using this wheel right here uh, this one is a norton norton blaze rapid strip and it's sort of like that uh, it's kind of like scotch Bright material in a way, and it does really good for deburring and polishing, especially on machined edges like that where you, you want to soften them up, but you don't want to take a lot of material. It is lightly abrasive, so it will remove a bunch of material if you dig into it, but if you, if you just hold it lightly and just kind of roll right around with it, it does a good job of removing that edge there. to the uh, milling machine now and finish out our cross bores. <laughs> 